We will now have the message presented by Aifa Shani Dehaney. She, has an ex she is an excellent cadet who won gold for her shooting competition. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Morning, church. Morning, As most of you know, my name is Aifa Shani Dehaney. This Youth Sunday, my talk is about our universal self, what connects us to God. I would like to share my realization made between a movie and our teachings here at church, The Temple of Light. This movie was named The Dark Tower. The concept was that there was a tower in the center of the universe that powers and protects us all. This transferal of power is transformed into a cycle. Firstly, there is a tower that represents God. Then, there are the strings leading from the tower which carry power through the universe, which uses that power as consciousness. This consciousness is a result of the combined use of the aspects of God that come from the power given by the tower. Us, conscious beings, combined as one in the universe, create the universal mind, which is the law of God in which he works. When we say the aspects of God, we're talking about the things that connect us to him. These aspects are life, love, light, peace, power, beauty, and joy. The meanings which were written by my fellow youth and myself are as follows. Life. Life is a pathway that brings wisdom, inspiration, excitement, and emotion. Love, as written by Kemar Forbes, is the infinite acceptance that allows us to grow spiritually and mentally healthy in order to accept God's creations with a willing heart. Light, written by Kevonnie Palmer, the consciousness or truth that comes from experience and advice obtained from our elders which shines through everyone. Power, written by Kai Antoinette Thompson, Power is the God-given ability to direct or influence our behavior. God has power and so gave us the ability to have dominion over anything we say or do. Peace, written by Mark Anthony Nicholson. Peace is true tranquility and calm on a level that is not able to be described by words. Beauty, spiritual transformation, that comes from God given, the God-given gift of time, experience, and life. Joy, which was written by Kelly Delvalle, is the feeling of happiness that relates to God. God provided all our blessings, which were created to give us joy and happiness. I believe everything can be put into a picture, and that the whole is more than the sum of the parts. This shows that everything can be connected to show a bigger idea, and this is the same with us and God. The aspects of God are the elements or the paints. We are the canvas, and God is the paintbrush. Firstly, there is us, the conscious universal being. We are the channel through which the aspects are displayed and expressed. When we express these aspects, it is received by the creative or universal mind, which is us, the universe, collectively. When the expressions are received, then the universe acts on it. This ultimately plays at the idea of our life having a ripple effect on the lives of others. The next thing in our masterpiece is a pathway this pathway is as a result of the aspect of life. The pathway is made by the work of yourself, the work of others, and the results of actions done. It is a spiritual, physical, and mental track, which is combined into a perfect blend to make what we call our life. 
The next part of the painting is love. This love represents acceptance. This acceptance is a spiritual and mental acceptance of every result, action, event, and decision made or to be made in the past or future journey. Light is the next thing to be put under the microscope. The light is represented by an illuminating lantern. This lantern shows a pathway ahead with an understanding light and an indirect experience of the ground you're about to trot. This comes from the advice from experienced persons and mistakes made on the journey past. Power is the next element on our list. Power is what gives us consciousness. This enables us to make decisions and be aware of our environment, situations, actions, and everything overall. Without consciousness, we'd be lost in our own lives. The journey past is not forgotten, though we should not look behind. Peace is a result of the past journey. With each footstep made, there's a chapter closed and a new one open. Peace of mind is then a result of completing a leg of the journey and being able to rest and start anew. Beauty is in everything. In the journey made along the pathway of life, beauty is shown in every situation, every connection in our life, every person and every experience. Beauty gives our journey spark, passion, love, and motivation. Now we have joy. Joy and peace go hand in hand. Joy comes as a result of gaining peace. Being calm and serene also contributes to inner joy, joy of achievements, joy with yourself, and joy with life. This complete journey brings about continued internal evolution and in the end we emerge an individualized presence of light, love, life, power, peace, beauty and joy. Live your life setting the intention to have full realization of the beautiful, good, joyous, peaceful and lovingness of life through your consciousness. And remember, the power of God expands our consciousness of truth, guiding us ceaselessly along the paths of wisdom, spiritual growth, unfoldment, and attainment. Thank you.